What's up guys, welcome back. This is 19.3 of the CrossFit Open. We have a 10 minute cap of a new movement, right? It is something that, that we haven't seen yet, uh, of actually a couple movements that are new. Three, to be exact. I hope you've been practicing your handstand walks. I hope you've been practicing strict. And if you haven't done a box step over yet, uh, sorry to say, but there's 50 of them. So 19.3, is a 10 minute cap, 200 foot overhead walking lunge. That's a single arm dumbbell, 50 for men, 35 for women. 50 dumbbell box step ups, not step overs. Um, again, that's still one dumbbell. We're gonna talk about how we should hold it uh, in the strategy portion of this. Um, then into 50 strict handstand push ups. Inside the box, the only standard on the handstand push up is um, the 36 by 24 box to make sure your palms are inside the box. Your hips cannot touch the wall. Only the feet can touch the wall uh, at all times, okay? And they can't come off the wall either. Then we'll finish with a 200 foot handstand walk. Again, this is gonna be set up on a 25 foot field, five foot increments. Each increment is one rep. Okay, let's talk about this workout a little bit. Who it's gonna affect, how we are going to approach it based on your specific skill level. So if you're terrible at strict handstand push-ups, then meaning like you don't have one, then you do everything you can to get here as fast as possible, right? And it's probably not gonna be the day that you're gonna get your first strict handstand push-up, okay? If you're that, you might consider scaling. The scale, holy smokes, Dave is not playing around this year. I think we made him mad, or Greg made him mad with this whole, you know, you're not the face of CrossFit thing because the scale is elevated handstand push-ups, like on a mat, right? So it's a five inch elevated handstand push-up. That's crazy. Some people have never even been upside down that have done CrossFit for a long time. So um, make sure you go to games.crossfit.com, uh, workouts, and the explanation will be there under 19.3. All right, so going over this, 200 foot overhead walking lunge uh, is going to be pretty, pretty easy for most, um, it, really any weight. Uh, 25 foot, what I suggest, we're talking strategy now, what I suggest is single arm for 25 feet or 50 feet and then switch. All right, we don't wanna do one arm the whole way because then once we start getting down lower in the strict handstand push-ups, we we'll kind of lopsided, we wanna do that. So I would suggest switching after 25 feet or 50 feet, depending on how easy the dumbbell load and weight is for you, all right? 50 dumbbell box step-ups, uh, when we, uh, go to the demonstration of what a box step up is. We're going to talk about the different ways to hold it, but the most efficient ways are probably going to be either just sitting on the shoulder, right? You can just get it to, to, stand, to sit there and not really move, or behind the neck, all right? But this is probably going to get really exhausting. We want to try and keep our arms as relaxed as possible. So the shoulder is probably going to be a really good idea for most because you can just kind of hold it here. If you remember uh, 17, Point two uh, was the walking lunge and bar muscle up toe to bar. Um, a lot of people walked like this, uh, but with one, it's much easier. You don't actually have to hold the dumbbell. It can just sit on you, right? That's the standard. And the standard is you can't push up from the other leg to get on the box. And obviously you must stand up all the way once you reach the box and you alternate legs each time. 50 strict handstand pushups. Um, if you are really good at handstand pushups, this workout is, this is where it is right here. It doesn't matter if you're good at handstand pushups, usually that means you're probably good at handstand walks. Um, it's all gonna be made here for you or broken here for you. If you struggle with strict handstand pushups, the goal here is small, consistent sets. Make sure you're resting and make sure you are not blowing up, killing yourself. It should not be a max effort. It shouldn't even be a 50% effort, so if you have 20 unbroken, you shouldn't open up with 10. Maybe if you have 30, you can open up with 10. But after all of this, unless you are elite of elite, this is going to be where the workout differentiates between everyone, okay? So we have to make sure that we're being effective and concise here with our strategy and our plan of how we're gonna break up the strict handstand pushups. For most people, twos and threes are going to be a good approach for this step step off two three walk back up one two three again one two three making sure your hands are inside the box your fingers can go outside the lines 
uh, but your palms must stay within the 36 inch box and 24 inches away from the wall. If you finish this, which very, very few people will finish this handstand push up, but if you're watching this, thank you for watching me. If you finish the handstand push ups, you have a 200 foot handstand walk, and that is just do everything that you can. Okay, it's 25 foot field. If you can make it the whole way, go. Don't try and break it up. Don't try and pace it. It's not really anything like that. You know, make sure that you're kicking up with your hands touching behind the line, falling. And if you're about to fall, get your next steps to make sure you touch on the other side of the line. Okay, so it's five foot increments. Again, 10 minute cap, 200 foot overhead walking lunge, one dumbbell, 50, 35. 50 dumbbell box step overs, holding it however you want as long as the dumbbell is touching your body. That's the standard. And you have to stand up all the way on the box and you can't push off of any other part of your body. So you can't use your hands to push off your legs. 50 strict handstand push ups. Standard is making sure your toes or your heels stay on the wall at all times and hips cannot touch the wall. Hands must stay with inside the measurement box. 200 foot handstand walk. So why strict handstand push-ups this year? I think Dave's mad. I also think that uh, the standard for kipping is just so difficult to um, establish and it kind of failed last year. So we have three new movements. I hope that you are ready. I hope your legs are ready. I hope your shoulders are ready. Um, now, how are we gonna get them ready? How are we gonna get them primed for this workout? All right, so our warm up. It's gonna be pretty short. There's not really much to warm up for um, in the sense besides just getting the shoulders warm and making sure our groin is loose and comfortable, okay? So we don't, you know, any type of like groin strains doing step ups on the box. So as always, three minutes on the bike or the rower or probably not the skier um, or jog. Then we're gonna go into three, two round um, pieces. The first one's just gonna be a walk and lunge, 50 feet, okay, uh, get up, Get your 25 foot field set up, down and back. Then we're gonna do a 50 foot overhead kettlebell carry. You choose the weight. Maybe round one, you do 35 pounds, uh, or you do uh, moderate weight, and then you pick it up to the load that you're gonna walk with. Um, you'll do each arm, okay? So we wanna make sure each arm is nice and warm. This is my mobility work. This is how I teach all my athletes to mobilize. Um, we just hold things over our heads. So if you need more work than this, um, do it. If you wanna do some banded stretching, that's fine. Uh, but this is what I always suggest with my athletes is an active and loaded warm up. Uh, so that's where we go from there. If you want, you can kind of peel off, do some mobility work, any type of bands or like a dead hang on the pull up bar, something like that. But I enjoy just carrying kettlebells overhead to really open up the chest and the thoracic and make sure that we are primed to hold a dumbbell overhead, right? We have to do that anyways. So I assume just do it first. All right, then we're gonna go into two rounds. Obviously, this is not for time. Then we're gonna go into two rounds of just five step ups at your height. Uh, if you need to warm up, uh, warm up to a lower step up. Uh, if the step up's very high for you, or if maybe you're prone to some form of like groin injury, make sure you warm up to this height. Five step ups, alternating legs. I know it's an odd number. And then five dumbbells, strict press, two dumbbells, start with a lighter one, pressing overhead. Two rounds here. Then we're gonna go into two rounds of um, handstand hold into either a negative or two to four strict handstand push-ups, depending on your skill level. Don't smoke yourself out. We just wanna make sure that we're able to do a handstand push-up and we've done one before the workout starts, okay? Um, so just, again, using load to open up the chest and open up the thoracic, make sure our good, we're good overhead. Then we're gonna do four dumbbell box step-ups using our weight prescribed. In the second round, first round, you can use a lighter one if you need to, or you can do the same weight both rounds. Practicing and kind of playing with what's comfortable behind the neck, on the shoulder. I don't suggest holding it in the chest, and I'll tell you here why in a second. Then we're gonna go into a 15 to 20 foot handstand walk. If you can't handstand walk, like I said, most people will not be here, so it is not a big deal whatsoever. But if you do happen to get here and you cannot handstand walk, shame on you. But anyways, just practice some freestanding handstand holds, um, kicking up, practicing, have someone great or uh, grab your feet and kind of give you a little bit of a hold. So how do we hold the dumbbell for the step ups? I 100% after watching uh, Alessandra Pacelli and Lauren Fisher, uh, Lauren started out behind her neck, but we want to make sure our arms are fresh as much as possible. So getting here and holding while the biceps don't do anything on the handstand push up technically, being in this position is gonna restrict some blood flow 
and it's just gonna be generally uncomfortable. So I definitely think Alessandra had the right approach and she held it here. I think that's a very good, you don't have to have your hand in the dumbbell like it was in 17.2, it's just touching. So the dumbbell can just sit on your shoulder and you just have to balance it. It doesn't really matter how it's sitting as long as it's touching you. So that's how I suggest and then switch once your arm gets a little bit tired. You have 50 step ups, so maybe switch at like 15 or, or, or 25 if you're comfortable waiting that long. Um, yeah, that's it. And then you guys will be 100% ready to go. So again, good luck on this 19.3 uh, open workout. We have three new movements, overhead walking lunges, dumbbell box step ups, and strict handstand push ups. I hope you're ready. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please comment below, like and subscribe, hit the button on the bottom left of the screen or well, below the screen and you know, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down and tell me why, how I can make it better. Uh, but if you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Good luck and I hope you crush 19.3.